police had to come and fire and they had to break the window. Good afternoon. I'm going to call to order this meeting of the Health, Environment, and Community Engagement Committee. Um, I'm the chair of the committee, Council Member Gordon. I'm joined by Vice Chair Andrew Johnson and also Council Members uh, Bender and Glidden. We may be joined by other Council Members um, any minute, but we also have a, a relatively short meeting, um, so um, we'll see. We have uh, three consent items, but prior to taking those up, I would like to uh, look at our um, public hearing. We have a, uh, some amendments that are being proposed. Most of it is to um, repeal language in our code. And so I'm going to, uh, uh, before opening the public hearing, just see if we could get a brief summary. Uh, would anyone like to make a brief summary? Um, I don't know if Ms. McIntosh wanted to do that or, oh, okay, very good. Just, just let us know uh, briefly what this is all about. Welcome. Hello, Chair Gordon and Council Members. I'm Ryan Crick, the Supervisor of the Food, Lodging, and Pools Section of the Minneapolis Health Department. Uh, just here today to discuss the possible deletion of the Minneapolis Eggs, Bread, and Water Ordinances. Um, the ordinance, uh, we're recommending that these be removed because they are antiquated and also are redundant and covered under the Minneapolis or Minnesota rules governing bread eggs and water. Uh, chapter 192, bread, uh, has sections that include ingredient requirements, sizes of the loaves, marking of the loaves, and the weight requirements. Under 194 eggs, they have areas of s sale of unfit eggs, candling of eggs, invoices required, grading of eggs, and the advertisement of the grade. Uh, under 196, water for drinking and domestic purposes. Uh, it has standards of purity, materials for delivery containers, cleansing of containers, labeling requirements, and sanitary requirements. Also, the inspection requirements. Um, we did send this out to our, all our licensed food establishments in Minneapolis and did not receive any comment on it. It would be staff direction that we delete these Minneapolis specific ordinances and that they're covered under the Minnesota Food Code and adopted by reference in the Minneapolis Code of Ordinances 186.2. Gordon, or any councilmen to have any questions or concerns at this time? I see a question or comment from Councilmember Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just have a quick question for staff. Under the strict ordinances, especially uh, the strict standards around bread. Is there any bread legally being sold in this city if we were to go by that ordinance? Uh, just in your estimation. Uh, well, only the ones that were equal to, I think, 16 ounces. <laughs> had, they all had to be 16 ounces. So anyone that hit that probably are. But uh, everything else that was been at a different size or shape uh, would not have met these ordinance requirements. Great, thank you. Yeah, and I also know there are some really strict standards around labeling and other things like that. And so I, I think this is good that we're taking the opportunity to clean this up. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't see any other uh, comments or questions, Mr. Quick. Thank you very much for your Thanks. report. I'm going to then open the public hearing. Uh, I'll check with the clerk and make sure that no one has signed up. Is there anyone here who wish to speak? I don't see any new faces. Uh, all right, then. I will close the public hearing. And um, would you like to uh, move approval, Council Member Johnson? I would like to, Mr. Chair, yes. Well, very good. Well, I just want to thank you for uh, taking the time to look at this. And uh, I think it's about six, seven, maybe eight pages that we will be deleting from our code of ordinances. And it will clean it up a little and make it easier for people to understand. And now um, there won't be people unknowingly, I guess, violating the law. Any other comments or questions? Seeing none, then. Uh, on this uh, amendment to the food code, all those say aye in favor. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, that motion carries. Thank you very much. And uh, then the remaining items are all on our consent agenda. I will read through these items, and if anyone would like to pull anything off for discussion, please uh, feel free to let me know. The first one is to approve the City Council appointment of Margaret Reinhardt 
uh, from Ward 10 to the Minneapolis Public Health Advisory Committee for a two-year term to expire December 31st. The second item is to authorize an increase to contract with the uh, Community Action of Minneapolis by $70,000 for a revised contract total of $170,000, an extension of the contract termination date to December 31st, 2015. Uh, this is to help us with our Healthy Home uh, Project uh, initiatives. And the um, B part of that, the second part of this item, is to authorize an increase to the contract with Project for Pride in Living by $80,000 for a revised grand total of uh, $480,000 and extension of that contract to June 30th, 2015. And the uh, fourth item on the agenda, which is our third uh, consent item, is to uh, receive and file the tree stump re uh, removal on private property report from the uh, Neighborhood and Community Relations Department. Actually, there is another item. I should have... Uh, looked at that sooner. Uh, this is simply to refer to staff the subject matter of an ordinance introduction uh, by Andrew Johnson um, relating to animals and fowl um, and other small animals repealing requirements for written consent. So on all four of those consent items, I don't see anything uh, anybody wants to comment on or pull off, so I will move all four of those. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, those... Um, Items all pass. And uh, seeing no other business before us, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>